Hi, my name's Frank Valencic and welcome to Advantage Property Market Update. The Melbourne market continues its consistent performance, clearance rates again averaging around 75%. Uh, we're now seeing Melbourne having the highest capital growth in the nation. Uh, recently showed that uh, Melbourne had gone up 16% in the last 12 months, uh, beating Sydney, which is going up at around 13%. So Melbourne is now 25% higher in capital growth and really the population growth is driving our our high growth in prices over uh, the last year. Well, we've seen some big price increases um, only recently in Rally Grove in Paran, a property sold for 1,630,000. It was a duplex block of apartments. Only a couple of years ago, that property sold for 1,210,000, showing the, the fast growth in Melbourne. Um, and it is really about the land value going up. We bought a property in Brighton Street in Richmond recently for 1,975,000. Uh, the land value was around $6,000 a square metre. Only 10 years ago, those owners bought that property for 907,000 and the land value was 2,800 a square metre. So many areas have seen land value increase and double in the last 10 years. And that's really driving Melbourne's market. Well, Melbourne again was voted the world's most livable city for the seventh year running. Uh, and that's really one of the main drivers behind our strong capital growth is uh, the demand for Melbourne, the lifestyle, the culture, um, all the amenities we have, um, and is really driving the population growth and people moving here. Uh, and being a strong factor in that. Well, affordability is the biggest issue confronting Australians. Recently, a, a number of uh, case studies showed that uh, Melbourne and Sydney and all parts of uh, Australia are considered to be very unaffordable for housing and that it is harder and harder for people to get into the market and that that is their biggest fear is how are they going to get their kids into the marketplace in the years to come as our prices keep spiralling. Well off the plan buying can have its risks and unfortunately I read an article recently where a young couple bought three years ago uh, the developer exercised the sunset clause a special condition which allowed him to terminate the contract and sell for a much higher price to another buyer. The poor first home buyers now have missed three years of an increased market and the market has gone up around 50%. So you need to be careful with off the plan buying. Also now there are no stamp duty concessions uh, for off the plan purchases from the 1st of July. Well, the block is back and we're excited to be involved in our ninth series. Uh, we were recently involved in the charity auction and we'll be coming on soon. Uh, to have a look at the uh, properties at around the three quarter mark stage of the renovations. And you know it's gonna be exciting this series. Um, I think there'll be more uh, owner occupiers purchasing the properties, downsizes and upsizes rather than investors, which targeted more the apartments of the last few series. Uh, please don't hesitate to get on our website, check out our information about our buyer's advocate, seller's advocate, property management, owner's corporation services, as well as our future group lock opportunities and our investors club. We'll see you next time.